What's up, y'all? Big Kills on back again. Kills on interviews here at Soundwave Comic Expo. I'm here with my man, the the one, the only DJ <laughs> Epic Team, Epic Gaming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Um, first and foremost, welcome to Soundwave. Yes, sir. You Good know what I'm saying? Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so, Epic, man, you've been a DJ on the scene for the last, what, 10, 12? Yeah, 12, 12 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I remember him, man, on the, uh, on the first... Uh, Murph was like some of the first yeah. Murph mixtapes when he went independent. Cause Murph did drop more mixtapes than uh than, than the NBA Young Boy. He started <laughs> he started that. So you know I remember him starting off with that. Then he kind of took over the city, and um, then he transitioned into into the game. And so can you kind of give us like the story of how you got into DJing and into gaming and how that transitioned into you being a businessman and a mogul that you are today? The, the DJ started with the desire when I was about five years old. My mama had a record player. She had a record sheet, good times. And I, when she would go home, the, when she would go out on the weekends, I'd sit there and mess with that record, try to scratch on it. Broke her needle, got a whooping. And so it was just ever since then, man, it just going to be a fan of hip hop. So that's when my passion started. I got older, got me some equipment. I was self-taught, you know what I'm saying? With the, we used to go to Vintage Vinyl, get milk crates, go buy records and all that, bro. So that's how I started DJing, and I just grew from there, man. I went I went more of the digital route once they started coming with controllers. I went more controller-based because it was a lot easier. Serato with the computers and everything. So that just really changed the DJ game. Mm -hmm. So gaming, of course, is a lot of kids, man. I, was, I had a passion for playing video games as a kid. And then, you know what I'm saying, like when the pandemic hit, I saw that there was a, people were really turning this into a business. Where I had streamed before, but just for fun, just a way to decompress. But once that pandemic hit, I saw a lot of people really taking it serious, and I saw it as an opportunity for me to take that gaming passion and turn it into a business and, and just work, man. And put I put the same effort I put into gaming as I do as DJ. Okay, yeah, because I remember seeing you, you was mixing, and then you had like you have some footage, you'll stream, and then you then you have another one where you had a footage over yeah, here, yeah, you'd be yeah. mixing on the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, so uh, tell me about uh, Team Epic Gaming. So, I see you got yourself, and you got a new uh, member, you got Postman and God over here, right? Yeah, so we got it's actually so there's technically four of us now. Oh, oh four, so okay. Team Epic Gaming started off, like I said, it was just me, it was me originally to kickstart it, but it was never meant for me to just be myself. So, uh, Postman and Guy, one of my best friends, uh, also a gamer, he's a beast, he's good at first-person shooters, man, just an amazing, skilled player. So I brought him on board, he was the first one to join, and then recently we added my boy Ronnie Notch, Tiffany Notch, Notch House Gaming. Yeah, shout so, out to Ronnie Notch, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're so dope, man, they have their whole family game, so they'll do a stream of Fortnite, it's him, the wife, the kids. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, they, they, so it's a family and fair, man. And we're growing. And this is our first expo here, man. We've been networking, so we're going to be doing a lot of more, a lot more events like this, um, a lot more charitable gaming streams like that, man. Really excited about the future, bro. Like, it's not just gaming, it's not just sitting down and playing a video game. It's, mm -hmm. it's, you, you can be really be creative with it. You can be a content creator. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a business. You can it's just as big as you can dream with it. You can take it there, and that's what we try to do, man. We've been trying to be next level with it. Exactly, exactly. So, um, so how did you find out about Soundwave? Let me ask you that question. Now, that's we asked Soundwave. DJ Noonie, Lamar Harris, my yep. man Pots and Pants told me about it, put me on it, bro. He, yeah. you know, he's a he's a big comic guy, man. Like me and him really, me and him click on that level. Not only he's a dope DJ, but he's really into the comic universe. Like I love comics and everything. Like, I love that whole world, man. But he put me on it, man. He told me about it, invited me to be a part of it, man. And I'm I'm really happy and thankful and grateful for the opportunity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got the gaming room over here. You got you got, you and Postman got it set up over here. Yeah. So we got. We got it set up so that people can play. We got people playing here. And then I brought part of my streaming set up. So we're going to show people the live gaming experience. You can see, um, we got the Lord I got my short SMB7. I got my stream deck. I got my stream deck pedal here. Okay. Xbox uh, One X there. Gaming laptop, man. So yeah, we're okay. gonna look, brought a little bit of it out. You know, not the whole okay. setup, but some of it. So yeah. we can show people how the live streaming actually looks when you do it, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to, because I've been revamping my, my setup. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to definitely talk to you about that. Because sure, sure. everybody been asking me, uh, got, shout out PS4 John Gotti, man. <laughs> uh, everybody been asking me uh, to come back to Facebook. So 
You know, I've been on YouTube since since the beginning. So I mean, like, yeah. I I I, I, I strictly I stream only on Facebook, but hey, that's mm. wrong with the other platform either, man. I mean, mm. yeah, YouTube is they 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 changing the game too, though. Yeah, everybody. I, I like. So how? Let me ask you this. this is one last question. Okay. So how do you feel about like the competition in the streaming marketplace? Because you got the big three. You got uh you got Facebook. You got YouTube. You got Twitch. Mm. Then you got like caffeine, and then you got um, yeah. you know other smaller uh, streaming sites. So how do you feel about um, how do you feel about the streaming landscape? So, I like it. The competition's good. I think also it benefits the creators because it gives us more options to stream. We're not stuck with just one platform. Mm -hmm. You can find a platform that suits you better. Like I prefer Facebook because of the community. Mm -hmm. and it's easier for me to network. My mom, my mom don't want to sit on Twitch, but she's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So my mom can come in the stream. She does all the time. Mm -hmm. My dad comes in the stream and watching. So I like that because Facebook gaming is easy for me to connect with my family and mm -hmm. people and friends and people that don't even don't care about video games, but they want to support you and be part of it. So that's why I like it. But there's different reasons, and that's what the good thing about having all these competition is good for the industry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it makes them work harder to give us more opportunities. But once again, it's just more platforms for the creators, for the gamers. To pick, you know what I'm saying? It's always good to have more, more options. Facts, facts. So, big kills on. Yes, sir. DJ Epic, My Team God. Epic Gaming, and we back. We'll be back for more. And y'all yeah, be on the lookout because we're gonna have a more in-depth interview to kind of go over like all the the great accomplishments <laughs> of Team Epic. Because like y'all, like if y'all wasn't here for like, and that's that's a, that's what we're gonna get into that on the interview as far as the mixtape thing. But we got a lot of dope DJs, a lot of yeah, dope bro. artists. And a lot of dope gamers in St. Louis now. So it's just time to, you know, bring it together and, and showcase what we got going on. So we out. Peace. Big kill zone on your phone and money still alone. And the team is forever, ever strong. Peace.